Hello, my name is Susan, and today I'm going to teach you three things about R4 Dental Software. First, I'm going to teach you what it is, what it can do for you, and why you should care. Second, I'm going to teach you the five record keeping steps. These are the steps you're going to take every time you see a patient. Third, I'm going to teach you how to log in, how to log out, and how to change your password. All right, let's get started. First, what is R4 and what can it do for us? R4 is an all-in-one dental software. It takes the place of many of the things that we used to use in dental offices. In older offices, when you needed to make an appointment for a patient, you had to pull out this giant book and then flip to the page that you needed. Each page was a different day. So you would flip to the page you needed and write in the patient's uh, name and phone number. If you needed to change it, you had to erase it, flip to a new page, and add it again. It took quite a bit of time and it was not very efficient. Using R4, all of the patient appointments are handled digitally and it's very easy and efficient. In older offices, when you would walk in the door, you would be greeted by a wall of charts. All of the patient's information was stored in these charts and at the beginning of the day, the receptionist would go through them and pull out the charts for all the patients on that day's schedule. At the beginning of the day, the dentist would review the charts. The patient information was on the cover of the file. The medical history and the baseline chart with the existing restorations and conditions were on a face page on the left-hand side of the chart. The clinical notes were written on the right-hand side of the chart with the newest notes on top. It took quite a bit of time and effort to keep these paper charts updated. At the end of the appointment, the patient would go back to reception and he would pay. The charges would be written in a ledger book and then the payment would be added. And at the end of the day, they would total up the charges and the payments and hope that it balanced. If the doctor needed to write a prescription, he or she had a prescription pad on their desk and they would write a prescription from that. If we needed to give any uh, patient instructions, we had photocopies on all sorts of cop uh, topics like uh, post-surgical instructions and we would hand them that. If they needed a referral, it had to be typed out and then given to the patient. So uh, all of those things took uh, an enormous amount of time and R4 has really made this so much easier. The second thing I said I was going to teach you was the five record keeping steps. So let's have a look at those. Every time you have a patient in your chair, you need to do these five things. The first is you need to book an appointment in R4. It's not enough to contact a patient and tell them to come. You can't keep the appointment in your head. You need to book it in the dental software. And when you do that, you need to book it correctly. We'll talk about that more when we actually do it. The second step is to check their personal information to ensure that it's correct. The name, the phone number, the date of birth, their civil ID number. If it's not correct, you're going to ask the receptionists to update it. The third record keeping step is to update their medical history. This has to be done at every appointment. The fourth record keeping step is to propose and complete items of care. Each time you see a patient, you need to complete a treatment code in R4 and the patient needs to pay. You can ensure that this happens by filling out the payment slip, and we'll talk more about that later as well. The fifth record keeping step is to write thorough and accurate clinical notes for everything you did at that appointment. And the third thing that I'm going to teach you today is how to log in, how to log out, and how to change your password. Here we go. Okay, this is my home screen, and I have the shortcuts to R4 
in a couple of places. One is right here. This, I don't know what this is, like a triangle. And it says CSR4 Clinical Plus. So this is the live version of the program. I also have this same shortcut down here uh, pinned to my uh, taskbar. Um, this one underneath, it says CSR4 Clinical Plus, but then there's a T here and there's a T here. This is the tutorial program. So when you are treating patients, you're always going to use the, the live program. And when you are practicing, you will use the tutorial program. The practicing you're going to do in the multimedia room and patient care is done in the clinics. I'm going to double click on this uh, icon here and it opens this login screen. Right here, it's asking what my user ID is and then here it wants to know my password. Your user ID is your BDS number without BDS. So if you are BDS1564, uh, sorry, if you are BDS F1964, you would be F1964. If you are BDS M1245, then you would be M1245, like this, yeah? So it's your BDS number, but without the the BDS. Um, I am uh, going to log in as my uh, test student, so I'm logging in as that. Your password is going to be 1234. That's the first password for everybody. So 1234. And then we can hit enter or you can click on OK. And then it'll take a minute. And it's thinking, it's thinking and it will open. When it opens, it's automatically going to open into the schedule. The, the di it's called the, the diary or the planner or the schedule. So this is uh, your schedule. This is the most common place that you're going to want to be. And so I programmed all of your so that it opens automatically in, um, in the schedule. To change your password, which is the next thing that we're going to learn how to do, uh, we're going to close the schedule. So just right up here, like any other program, close that. And now this is actually the home screen for the for the program. I can tell that it's the live program because it says ODC College Dental Management System, and it's got our logo on it, and it's got the Opus Deseri Credo uh, on it. And so this is the live program. To change your password, you're going to come up here to edit and you're going to slide all the way to the bottom change password yeah. and then old password is 1234 and your new password is whatever you choose and you do have to do that twice okay so now we've logged in and we've learned how to change our password at the end of the day you need to close the program over here, there's a button that says log out, and I know that it's logical to use the log out button, but I, I am asking you to never, 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 never use the log out button. Um, there is a, a strange thing about R4. We have several clinics. You are registered in the Gateway Clinic, and then later you're going to be registered in the Student Clinic. Um, but you only have access to one clinic right now, the Gateway Clinic, and after you've passed all your gateways, you'll be transferred to the Student Clinic, and then you will only have access to the Student Clinic. But we have several other clinics. We have our Faculty Clinic, we have our Ortho Clinic, we have the, the clinic that the JLs and the interns use. And so when one of those people logs in, they log in to, the, to their clinic. When they leave, if they use this logout button, this is what happens. You will see the same login screen that we saw before, but now we see the program behind it. So they were logged in to, let's say they were an orthodontist, so they were logged into the ortho clinic. If you put your login here right now and your password, when you click OK, it will not log you into the Gateway Clinic. It will not log you into the Student Clinic. It will log you into the same clinic that the previous person was logged into. And it makes a giant mess. It makes a mess for billing. 
and it makes a mess for grading. So anytime you walk up to a computer and you see this, this login screen with R4 open behind it, I don't want you to log in. I want you to hit cancel and that will close the program. And then you can open the program and log in. This is what you want to see, the login screen without um, without the program sitting behind it. And so when you're leaving at the end of the day, it's really important that you always close the program. And instead of closing the program from that logout button, we're going to just close the program. So there we go. Um, you're going to X your way out up here in the upper right. So you're going to hit X to close the planner and then you're going to hit X to close the program. All right. Again, never, never, never don't use this logout button. It makes messes. Okay. So that's, uh, that's the end of today's lesson, I think. There we go. We're shutting that down and done. All right. That is the end of today's lesson. Today you learned what R4 is, what it can do for you, and why you should care. I introduced you to the five record keeping steps, and I taught you how to log in, log out, and change your password. I'll see you next time.